Hi guys, welcome back to the shack. Here we are in the um, art book slash glue book slash everything book. <laughs> um, this is one we did the other day. I've just finished her off a bit. I've um, added a bit of white pen stuff here. Got the word shine, gave her a tattoo, gave her some jewels. So yeah, that finished her off a bit. And I am just keen to get this do another page so this is just the page I've been wiping the brush off on and this silly pattern happened so anyway, that's a bit of fun but that's that's not staying there so we're just going to put a bit of gesso over that but then also use the gesso as the glue and um, glue some stuff down yeah yeah so get your stuff out and play along. So I like the pattern more with the gesso over the top. Some of that might sh show through in the, might still be there in the um, final bit. But probably not. Okay. Now, so we don't have to wait for the gesso to dry. We're going to use the gesso as the glue. So I've got some music paper here. So we'll get a bit of that on there. Vintage mus um, music paper. So it's very frail. But nice and yellowy and vintage -y and All that good stuff. There's a bit there. When you stick it on the gesso, you can sort of stick it down, get it on your fingers, and then you put a bit over the top of the top of the paper. It's fun. Get a bit gluey. Not gluey, more oh, like painty. So this is the gesso. Acting as Lots of things. Now, I have this bigger picture here that I've cut out from a magazine. This hand coming down. So I'll just get that in now so that we can see how much room that's going to take up. I don't know why I didn't finish cutting that, but we'll cover it up with some, with that. That's what's great. You can just cover up things you don't like. I'll just get a little bit of that off. Oops. A bit more gesso. And there. There we go. Blend it in a bit. Stick it down a bit more. Okay, what else do we want on there? Now, I've got some brick wall here that um, I tore out of the magazine. So we might put that in the picture too, just on the edge there. Probably going to modge podge over the top of all this so if it's not stuck right down with the gesso uh, the modge podge would stick it down you know if you haven't got modge podge just use glue just glue it down a bit more with glue 
So I've got mod um, gesso, just use a bit of white paint. Images stick to that too. should be put on there do we want a, a word if not now then when well, that could could be all right couldn't it everybody has a story never say never no I think if not now then when that could be for anything couldn't it glue 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 it down. Cool. I'd have to fix those. Um, I've already wrecked this pen by using it over gesso, so just break it a bit more there we go fix that okay now I think we'll do some stenciling over the top of all of that let's dry that off a bit bam 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 Probably not dry enough, but I'm not going to wait any longer. Okay, I've got a couple of stencils here. Since he's got little flowers in his hands, in her hands, his hands, their hands, his ever hands, might do a little bit, bit of flower stencil. Now, where is... Ah, oh, that's what that is. I found something. Where did I put it? Where did it go? Oh, I don't know. It was the, I just saw that this has come off. And I just saw a little, here it is, this floating around. Where's that come from? And that's where it's come from to get you back on there. Right now. No time, like the present. Probably hot glue would be better, but I'm just going to put a bit of this glue on there for now. Get back on there. Here we go. This is was a recipe book, and I turned it into an art book. Can, will that stay there? I'll, I'll let that dry a bit. We can have a look at that later. Okay. For later, and I'll just, that, that's what I'm looking for. This palette, orange or green? Hmm. Let me think. Orange and green. Let's use both. This so is just a bit of acrylic paint. Look how gammy that is. <laughs> I should clean it up, shouldn't I? Ugh. Anyway, do that later. Probably won't. But anyway, see so a bit close. I'm just going to lift you up a bit. Is that better? Oh, that'll do. Um, and a bit of green. I like this minty green. What's it called? Oh, mint green. Okay, cool. And we'll do a bit of both. And I saw a sponge over here, so we're just going to dab it on with the old kitchen sponge. I had a round dabbing sponge, uh, but it got so gammy. Um, uh, we'll, just, we'll see how this works. Colour first. Bit of orange. 
Okay, let's go. I like using the sponge because it gives it a um a mottledy the paint a mottledy look instead of a, a solid look. As long as you get enough on there to show up the stamp or we got over the music paper. I think we will. I to start, can't stop. Mottled the dabbing in there. That might do for this bit. Should have dabbed a bit harder, I think. It didn't come out too good. But that's okay. Might just push it down over here and see what we can pick up from this side of the stencil. Nothing. <laughs> Never mind. dabbed too light but that's okay we can do some more we'll do some more and we will dab harder let's try it this way if at first you don't succeed do it again do it harder maybe a brush would be better And I think maybe the green over the brick wall would have been better. The green would show up better, wouldn't it? We can do some green over the top. Not loving it. So we put some bubbles over that. Let's do some green bubbles over that. Maybe it's this sponge. Let's give up on the sponge. And this brush. It's a good pokey brush. Old brush that ain't. I oh, know you've gone really quick. I have a big fat brush. If we try that, I'll give the flower one another go up here. With the green, I think. Just wiping some of that orange paint off. Okay, let's try again. With the green Maybe over here a bit. Okay, let's try that. Oh, it's getting much more paint on there than leave the sponge. better paintbrush is better so we'll just go over the orange we'll go over it and see what happens might be a big painty mess but we will see
So guys, this is a big fat paintbrush and it works really good. And it's just a cheap one. It's just probably out of the, the kids paint section at the cheap shop. But it works really good for this, which is stamp. Oh, will we see the words still? I think I just covered up all the words. Oh, they weren't that great, were they? I don't even remember what it said. If not now, then when? Well, that's gone. <laughs> Once I start, I can't stop. Just a bit more. We'll leave that bit of orange there. always get the black pen and go over that. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh, more green. Just got to do up in that corner now. Okay, there we go. That's enough of that. That's enough messing around with that. What else do we need? Definitely need something. Definitely. Painty fingers. Love painty fingers. Okay. Suggestions. Maybe it's done. Maybe that'll do. I'll try and go over these words. No, I need to let that dry. Need to let it dry, guys. Let's just let that dry for a bit. We'll come back to that one. Now, this little book over here, this is the little other altered book I've turned into a um, art journal thing. <laughs> so that is, that's that. And I've pulled no pages out, I've just, I'm gluing two pages together as I go. Put my glue in there. So there's one I've done. I think we glued these pictures in last time we were in here. I've just, um, she's saying, watch out for the pricks. Because of the cactuses, guys. So this, oh, this might be dry now. This is just gessoed. I've glued these pages together to thicken it up. Gessoed and stuck, ripped out book paper and um, stuck it on the gesso. Smudged it around with my finger. So that's just been drying. Maybe while the stencil and the paint's out, we might just get this ready. Maybe. Or I could spray some ink on it. I've got these um, little bottles of alcohol ink. And I transferred them into these little glass bottles. Uh, this, I just did one in here with watercolour 
this one. You'll find your spot. If you look around, there's lots of spots. So that was the same, just gessoed and then stuck these images out of the magazine on there. And then watercolored. These spots are watercolored. And then sprayed inks. That's a mulberry, a blue, the ocean blue, and a kiwi green. Just sprayed the alcohol inks on and mixed them together a bit and you know, moved them around like this. And this was cool. This just ran down a face like a tear. But, um, yeah, that came out really good. So I like how the um, inks react with watercolour. That's cool. So we could do watercolour. We could do inks. These stamp, these are sitting here. I love them. <laughs> uh, do we have a picture? Got her. She could be in there, couldn't she? What do we do first? Never say never. Everybody has a story. Or a bit gritty. These are the words I've got laying around. There's a paw print. But can you tell that's a paw print? Paw. It's not a paw print, it's an actual paw. It's a little paw. Okay, I think we'll put her in. I like her look. So let's just glue her down. some, not that one, done that one already, let's do some bubbles, what else have we got, what have we got over here, oh there's a bit of a tree, there's a bit of a tree in there, it would be better if the tree went the whole way up, but wouldn't it, maybe some Words could go up there. A bit gritty. of pictures. I might ink around this. Do we have ink handy? This is black. Cool. Everybody has a story and it's on words, so on the book pages, you know. It's a story. Get these things on and then we'll do a bit of, bit of stuff over the top. What colour? Uh, I think we'll go to some flowers. In the green. Since our brush has already got the green on it. There's a big guard dog. Come over here so we can blend the two pages together. I'm just going to check out what he's barking at. Okay, so all good. He was just barking at the neighbours. <laughs> uh, 
um, which was good because I got to go out and say hello to them. Now, I finished the uh, stenciling and it's looking good. I like it. Can you see it? Um, this just needs a little something, something, I think. So, so it's a bit glary. Anyway, um, I've got a country magazine here from 2016, Australian country. So I just thought, see if we can find something to put in that spot. We'll do a little mag harvest while we're here. A bit of everything in this video. Oh, I like it there. But I'm not going to pull anything else out. Just got to stay focused and look for something for there. Might just put the lid on the gesso and the lid on the glue. There we go. Oh, there's a little tiny bird. Mm, a bit too a bit lost. Lots of pretty things like that door. Love all this natural looking timber and stuff. It's um, cool. Oh, oh, about this. That could be that might go or the hammock. That might be a bit big. Let's just get this page. I think on the back there that I want. Let's see if anything there works. Come back over here, little book. Now, I'm going to cut both those things out and we'll, we'll audition them both. Let's see who, who gets the gig. I don't know why I always pick up the most ginormous scissors to fussy cut with. Okay, so we can either have that, which I like. Might be too big, but I'll still cut it out. I can use it. Use it somewhere else if it is. Oh, I do need to cut out in there. from the top of the page. I really like that bird cage there, so right, we'll just get this ready. Anyway. See you can hardly see those two bits going up there, so I'm not gonna worry about them. I don't worry about that. I really don't even think I needed to worry about that bar. Hmm, does fit. Can you tell it's a hammock? A hammock chair? Nah, I think that just needs to be on a page with pot plants and stuff. I like that. Just hang that there. Just with a bit of the glue. There we go. What's your story, little bird? If you know if you go down, you can get out of the cage. Fly away. There we go. 
we got any bit of paint left on this stencil, I can sort of put a bit of the green around. That will do. That's that one. That's that one. Um, and we'll do that another day because I don't have. Put that on there. Hang around. Do you think I should cut the bar off and just have it hanging from the top of the page? I think I will. And I like this bar. Bye bar. I just don't know if it really looks like. I'll leave that in there, think about it. Maybe with some pot plants. Yeah, never know. Alright, what else are we doing? Back to this one. Have they dried? If dried, we'll put it we'll just go over these letters a bit. If not now, then when? I think I'm just going to leave that because it's okay. So we've only got one, two pages to go, guys. Leave that open for a bit longer to dry, and then we'll do a flip through. Oh, the old book! Yay! Now the only other thing I had out to play with today. Is some tags I was doing. Okay, so this is some yellow magazine paper. I was just piling bits and bobs onto these. To make up some tags to iron these. But I think I'm gonna store them. How's that one looking? I like that bit of the material. Yeah, let's cut that. These are just scrappy doos. All right, let's do these tags. Okay, um, I found a bit of this stuff too. We call it hessian type stuff. So maybe that could go under there with these bits on top. These are some more of these cardboard flowers. They come in a packet, Tim Holtz, I think. Yeah, Tim Holt stuff it was given to me. I don't usually buy this kind of stuff, but um, my cousin was getting rid of stuff, so I'm like, yeah, I'll have it. Okay, now I've got my trusty little iron here. Can you see it? It's so tiny. I've got, I can't bring it any further over because it's plugged in down here. And it's just handy for ironing these little bits that's going to go on there so we can cut 
this a bit straighter. As I said before, these are just all out of the scrap bag. Let's trim that down. And then we'll pull a couple of these strands off. And there we go. So there and there. And there. Okay, I'm gonna pop that through the sewing machine and then I'll just glue that on top. Okay, so that will be that one. And I'll hand this little piece of material I've stamped on. I've just cut this, um, this was in my cousin's stuff too, it was already stamped, a piece of cardboard. Wish I'd have given me that stamp, but that wasn't in there. <laughs> just this was. And so, I thought that could go on there. That's too easy, isn't it? We'll just sew around that. Now, uh, let's pile. This one's just fine like that, I think. Yeah, I like that. I'll just sew that up around there, glue that on there, and then this one, I might, I need to ink these too, I'll do that after the sewing, um, let's trim this bit of stuff off, I see that fold there, I might just, I might just follow that. Well, not quite, because it's not straightforward. How's that? That's good. Let's iron that. Put that on there. And this little lacy bit, I'll iron that flat. somewhere that'd be in the middle there how's that cool okay well i'll just go and sew around them and be back in a minute i wonder i've had a bit more of this do i want to use this i think i do this one was a bit plain wasn't it I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I kind of just like that one like that. That's okay. You don't have to use that now. Go back in the scrap bag. Okay, I'll be back in. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine. Sewn around the more. You can see the stitching on the back. Some of them I sewed um, note paper onto the back of. Okay, now what was going on this one? I don't remember. I think you were going to go on there. Oh, the card was staying like that. I just like that like that. Nice and simple. Journal on the back. So that one's good. Ready to go in a journal. Uh, this had that one on. Got note paper on the back. And this one can go on there. So, I think I'll just see how it goes with the glue stick. This is a good, a good glue stick. Let's pop that on there. This one on there. So now that I've got a few more tags done, 
it's time to do another journal. If this glue is not enough, I'll go through with the craft glue. Sometimes this is all it takes to add your last embellishment to the tag. I just wasn't too sure about sewing through this cardboard. So I just glue that on and we'll do some ink. My brown ink that I love to use on everything, chestnut I think it's called, has disappeared. I mean it was pretty well used but I need to find it. But the black ink's okay. Hardly any of this one to do but I'll just do this. The corner. This little bit down here through and up the top of this one there we go and these takes are already cool while I was um digging around for these Scraps. I came across a few bits and bobs, this lace that I'd tea dyed. I was just seeing if I could smell the coffee on it. It may have been coffee dyed. It's quite light. It's either coffee or tea dyed. And this beautiful dyed doily. I just thought that looks lovely together. Maybe that way. I haven't done a lacy, lacy, gracie journal. Look at that ribbon. So that might be the inspiration for the next journal. Maybe. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for being here for this mix of mixed media. <laughs> and we'll um, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.